Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday morning. So I got a question. When will the world wake up? Now, this isn't your normal prepper video, okay? There's a whole lot of people out there who, oh, preppers, tinfoil hat, yada, da 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 crap, and we'll never shake that, period, okay? Send this video to all of those people who are anti-prepping and let them answer what the future holds, what they're going to do. These are going to be some cold, hard facts that I bet you would love to hear what the normies have as an answer. You want to you ignore it? You want to stick your head in the sand? You want to be an ostrich? You want to be a sheep? Go ahead. Okay. Just I'll give you a piece of advice. Go buy your uh, burial plot because you're probably going to need it relatively soon. Now, to give you this, anybody know what started yesterday? Yesterday, okay. The World Economic Forum Conference in Davos. Now, the meetings all start next week. You have heads of state from 52 countries around the world that are participating this year. You want to know how worried the World Economic Forum is about their safety? They have hired 5,000 Swiss troops to be posted as snipers on the top of the building, to conduct security, to shoot drones out of the sky, etc., etc. This, this great group of people who are, only have your best interests in mind, are so worried about themselves, they need 5,000 armed troops to protect them. Okay? We all know about the World Economic Forum's ambitions. The, the Great Reset, a world government, no borders, save the planet, all this sort of crap. Okay? We know they were part and parcel with the 2020 debacle that the world got to go through that shut down economies and forced all sorts of treatments upon people. Yes, I'm choosing my words selectively. Anybody catch this one? <clears throat> Insurance companies announced for 2022 that they had a 40% increase in unexpected deaths from people who partook in the arm candy, okay? We also learned a couple of weeks ago that there were over a thousand studies that were published talking about the side effects, okay? We all saw the story on the Bengals football player, or I'm sorry, the Bills football player Bengals game, uh, who collapsed on the field. <clears throat> and Fauci was the first one out there to go, oh, it could have had nothing to do with this. Yet we seem to be seeing young athletes, teenagers, 20-somethings, dropping dead constantly. <clears throat> okay, That's a problem. And let's add some other stuff to it. How about this one? 71 million Americans, one-fifth of our population, now receive some sort of government assistance. Okay, That's not Social Security. All right? I'm talking about welfare, food stamps, some, UBI, something like this. You know, some of these states have UBI. <clears throat> not to, this does not include Social Security. One out of five. Okay, That doesn't include the 46-some-odd million illegals that are in the United States. The latest number is 46.2 million people, okay? Not 11, not 13, not 20, 46.2. Let's take a look at what's going on in Europe, all right? And let's tie this one to the arm candy as well. Does anybody know where the 
initial studies were done to see how the efficacy of all the was in the world. They did that in Israel. Okay. And Israel wound up being the test subject for everybody. Israel was 98% or something like that. I don't know the exact figure. Uh, jabbed. Okay. To see if it works. Anybody remember any other group where Jews were used as lab rats? <clears throat> yeah, I seem to remember something like that in history. So then let's take this to what's going on in Europe. The United States, NATO, huge backers of Ukraine, right? We're sending billions of dollars and Bradley fighting vehicles and Zelensky wants M1 tanks and Patriot missiles and all this sort of stuff. Yet, let's see, uh, Azov Battalion, what would be their political ideals? Hmm, yeah, what would those be again? Oh yeah, that's right, Nazism. Hmm, let's see, we're going to support Nazism, and we're going to support testing on Israelis at the same time. Interesting, now mind you, I'm not supporting Putin. And I'm certainly not supporting Zelensky. I don't have a horse in this race. Okay, You want to support either one of them, that's up to you. I'm going to give you the freaking facts. Okay. Is Ukraine a threat to the United States? Absolutely, on an economic basis. Is Russia a threat to the United States? Absolutely, on a military basis. Okay, Both of them are our enemies. Why we are supporting either one of them, I have no freaking idea. But then again, we've got idiots running this country, and we've got bigger idiots trying to run the world. Where are we going next? What does Davos want? A one world government, right? Let's see. What would be the blueprint, for lack of a better word, that Davos wants to use? Oh, China is the Epitome of what we all should aspire to become, according to Davos. Y'all want to be communist, completely worshipping the president? Oh my God, if you're in China, you need to worship. I mean, literally, pray to, okay, Xi Jinping. Can you imagine going to the Church of Klaus and worshipping Klaus Schwab? Ain't no effing way in the world, okay? Period. think it's only countries like this. Let's talk about Canada. Canada, government-sponsored euthanasia. I mean, there was a story a few weeks back uh, about a military vet, uh, an Iraq-Afghanistan military vet, who was trying to get a wheelchair for years uh, from their... VA type insurance and the social worker, Canadian government employee said, well, if it's easier, we can always help you commit suicide. This is their idea. Let's go into depopulation. Hey, if you, if you want to end it all, we'll be happy to help you. Okay. If you are a pure blood you know, let's go back to France. France would consider you a non-citizen, okay? That was word straight out of Emmanuel Macron's mouth. Let's start looking at this. This is what's going on, guys. And everybody needs, everybody, worldwide. I don't care if you are sitting in Boise, Idaho, or if you're sitting in Botswana, all right? We need to stop this. They are trying to take away countries. They are trying to take away your religious beliefs. They are trying to get rid of the definition of family. They are trying to get rid of an individual. Let's look at our uh, illustrious newest Supreme Court justice who can't define what a woman is. All right. Why do you think it is so important that we 
uh, support abortion. We need to depopulate the country. Why do you think it's so important that we need to get rid of Christian values? We don't want marriage to be, we don't, you know, hey, it's totally fine to go out and procreate like rabbits, okay? Why bother having a father figure? Who cares, you know? We don't want the family. We want everybody is beholden to the World Economic Forum. You know, you're not an individual, you're a number. We don't want you part of a family. We just want you you want to have you want to have a kid? Great. We don't care who dad is, okay? Mom, go out and do it all by yourself. Guys, if you just want to be a, a male whore, run around and do whatever you want. Okay. This is the kind of crap they're supporting. You know, they want to move us all into super cities. We've all seen that map where these will be the areas people are allowed to live. These will be the places people are allowed to travel. And these are the people places that people aren't allowed to go whatsoever. Guess what? Where I live is somewhere that people aren't going to be allowed to go whatsoever. Okay. Good luck getting me off of here. The only way you're getting me out of here is with a body bag. Okay? And I guarantee I won't be the only one taken. We need the world public needs to start realizing that this is the plan and they are doing it in bits and pieces. And all people do is go, oh, gee, here it is. Get your ass prepared. Get out of the cities. Get out of the suburbs, even if it's just on the weekends, and learn how to be self-sufficient. Because social credit scores are coming. They want to do this CBDC bullshit. And control everything. AI is all over the place. Your job? How many articles, how many things, how many have you heard, whatever? We can replace the job with somebody to do computers. Elon Musk is all over the place saying that. You're an auto worker. Let's just say your family has got a history working for the UAW, okay? And grandpa used to be the one on there putting the tires on the car as it came down the assembly line. And dad used to be the one bolting down the steering wheel to it or whatever. Now, you just need a few people. This is the guy that pushes this button. This is the guy that pushes this button. And it's all done by robots. Guess what? That's going to be a lot of jobs. That's what they want. Get rid of the people and everything will be done by machines, by computers. Okay? Look at Mark Zuckerberg and his metaverse and what they're talking about all over the place. You don't, people, there was an article yesterday, people are going to need to relearn to walk and relearn to see because you won't be walking in the physical world, you'll be walking in the meta world. So basically your existence will be sitting, a, your fat ass looking like Lizzo on the couch, looking through goggles going, this is how I'm experiencing life. No, okay? If that's the life you want, move to the city, you'll have it. You can live in your shoebox size apartment with your glasses on and your little phone and deal and eat bugs and do whatever. And then when they knock on your door one day and go, sir, we've decided your number's up. Please come out here for your assisted suicide. Lay on the gurney right there. Be calm. This won't hurt. Zzz, goodbye. Okay. And then you're off to the Soylent Green factory. Right. Okay. If you don't want to participate in something like that, start figuring it out now. Get yourself out to the country. I don't care if it's on a part-time basis. Find yourself a small place, small plot of land. I don't care if it's a quarter of an acre, something big enough to put a tent and a garden on. Do it. You're going to need a place to escape. Mark my words. You are not going to be want to be in the city where every one of your movements is tracked by cameras all over the place, where you're told what you can do, when you can do it, and how you can do it. When it's decided for you that this will be your job, this will be where you're expected to be at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, pick every hour of the day. Oh, and because you've been such a good, loyal subject, we will give you two hours off on Saturday. 
and you will be able to allow allowed to go to the movie theater to watch your latest indoctrination film. Think I'm kidding about stuff like that? How about let's take a look at Jordan Peterson. Anybody know who he is? Canadian doctor? He's been told he has to report for re-education, their words, by Canada or risk losing his license to practice medicine because he's talking about things the Canadian government, talking about things that the Canadian government doesn't agree with. Davos is going on. The big meeting starts next week. This is where we're going, guys. And people don't want to see it. it. There will be a battle, a war. And it's going to be between the people that cherish their freedom, their individuality, their family, and those that are too cowardice to stand up for anything and are too much sheep and just go, oh, if the government tells me it's the right thing to do, it must be. Because the government, pick one, okay? I don't care what world, what country, what government you want to do, what, you know, who elected Klaus Schwab. I don't care who. If you honestly believe they have your best interests in mind, you've been hitting that crack pipe pretty freaking hard. Because you will own nothing and be happy is partially true. You will own nothing. They will own everything. And you will get a pittance for whatever they decide you can have. You'll be happy. You'll be happy that, oh my God, I actually get an hour this week to see my spouse. You're happy about that. That's the happy they're talking about. Other than that, you are going to be a slave to the elites. If that's the life you want, more power to you. Move to the city. If that's not the life you want, you better damn well start now if you haven't already. Getting yourself more self-sufficient, more aligned with people of a similar mindset, and prepared to defend yourself and stand up for your rights, your God-given rights. Not your government-given rights, because those get taken away from you daily. But I have not seen God try to take any of my rights away. And those are the ones that I'm going to live by. Pinball out.